In this video, we are going to be looking how to get specific uh, or specific sub documents or a specific sub document values from a document. It could be multiple values or it could be one. And so very quickly, we want to look at the collection that we have, uh, find.pretty here, uh, that we've been playing around with. And I have added some four ratings, and we have some five ratings, and that's what we want to filter on on this great book. So let's suppose that we want to get the ratings where the ratings are five. We, don't, we want to exclude the four ratings. And uh, we could want this with various things, but in this case, that's what we're going to want to do here. So we want to just get a few of those uh, ratings in this uh, subdocument array. And keep in mind uh, how this is organized is we have this subdocument array here, ratings, right? So all of these subdocuments are within this ratings. And so when we use, we're going to be using the unwind, what we're saying is we want to unwind this subdocument array, right? And we want to unwind it to where it's going to be within uh, its own documents. So the first thing we're going to do here before we filter is we're going to unwind this. And we're going to unwind this using aggregate here. And so we're going to specify unwind, and then we are going to do ratings. So it's ratings.rating is the actual rating, but in this case, we're unwinding ratings. Okay, so we're going to unwind that, and we're going to specify this as dot pretty so that it comes out clean. And we will see uh, when we look at this, this looks like a standard uh, document in a collection, documents in a collection, I mean. So we see there's four documents now in this uh, unwinding, right? We have uh, the object ID, and we'll notice that object ID is the same throughout. Uh, it has the same, of course, great book, but we'll see, you know, in the price and everything, but we'll see that the ratings now are broken out, broken down, right? Where they're in that array, but they're in that, that subdocument array, I should say, as just one item, okay? So now what we want to do is we want to take the same logic. So we're going to, I'm going to clear the screen first, and we're going to actually take this uh, unwind dot rating or unwind rating. So we've unwound them into documents. And now what we're going to do is we want to match where those, essentially this is our where clause here, we want to match where these ratings are, or the rating is five, right? And so for those of you who are familiar with object-oriented programming, one of the things we know in object-oriented programming is we can use the, the dot dot, right? So that's like dot specification on, our, on filtering. And that is what we're going to be doing here. So essentially what we're looking for is we have this ratings subdocument, right? And we're going to be looking where ratings subdocument dot rating is equal to five. And that's what we want to filter on here. And we'll see that we get those two subdocuments returned for the product. And so those subdocuments of the rating five return, and we don't get four. Now, if we were to do this and we were to do four, we would get the others. And we see those as well. So going back to the original question from a few weeks ago, if we wanted to add ratings to a product, we could do it in separate collections, but we could add it to a subdocument in the same collection, a subdocument array in the same collection. And this shows you also how we would go about filtering on that. And so, and keep in mind, we're using ratings here. Uh, we could also specify ID as well. And so it's important to note just because this is something, this is an option that we have to do. It doesn't mean this is how we want to do it. If somebody wants to use, let's say, uh, two structures, I would go ahead and use SQL because that would be more familiar with most people. However, we can do it with the same collection and then we can query on that collection for those uh, specific ratings in that sub-document within that document.